And welcome to another Watch Geek video. Today, we're taking a closer look at the latest model from Revelo that, despite launching just a few days ago, already seems to be sold out in a couple of colorways. Luckily, there is more than half a dozen colorways available, and the ones I'm reviewing are still one of those. Called Mechadromo, it is their take on a modern interpretation of the 70s racing chronographs. If you know watches, you know those were very colorful, using many colors for the hands, subdials, and dials themselves. Revelo really went wild with these, so there are many, and I mean many, combinations available. At the same time, the case itself is modern, in both shape and size. At 41.5mm in diameter and 48mm lug to lug, it hits the sweet spot for most wrists, my small 6.5 inch one included and thanks to just 12.3mm of thickness, which includes a domed sapphire crystal, it sits a low on the wrist and has no problems clearing any shirt cuffs. The slim case is possible thanks to the movement used, a mecha quartz from Seiko that gives you regular quartz watch convenience while at the same time giving you a sweeping seconds hand of the chronograph, like a mechanical watch does. Where this one differs from the mecha quartz made by Miyota is the operation of the set chronograph. Miyota uses the step motors to reset the chronograph to zero, making it feel and look like a regular battery operated watch, while this one actually uses a three pointed hammer and levers to mechanically slide the hands back to zero, giving you the exact same feeling of snappiness you find in mechanical chronographs because that is exactly how a mechanical chronograph does it. So if you want to get as close to a mechanical feeling chronograph as possible, but want to keep the convenience and slimness of quartz, Seiko VK movements are a better option than Miyota. But back to the watch. Like I said, the case is very modern, with chiseled, sharp lines, looking almost like a sculpture. And I especially like the lugs that look like they're welded to the case. The vintage 1970s spirit is seen in the use of an aluminum bezel and the dome crystal. The things under the crystal are also screaming 70s. From the sunken chapter ring with alternating minute hashes replicating a checkered flag and multifaceted hour markers to the thick hands with contrasting finish and colorful subdials with up to three colors used for different sections. Even the basic black and white panda I got has different shades of black to make it less dull. I really like this playfulness. Then there are the more subtle details that connect it to racing. From the already mentioned chaptering all the way to the dial that on most versions has a rough finish to mimic the asphalt of a racetrack. And my personal favorite, the date. The round cutout is not random and neither is the font used. Both, together, mimic racing number decals found on classic cars. I love that it's so small you don't even notice it, but once you do, you enjoyed it without it showing off. All the variants come with color matched rally styled leather straps, while you also have an option to choose other types of straps as well. The stock rally ones are really nicely made, and with 22mm in width, have substance that gives the watch face a great balance. The leather is soft and pliable, and my only complaint would be the length. Since my wrist is quite small, I end up with a piece sticking out. Usually I would just slap it on one of my custom straps, but these go so well with the rest of the watch, I keep wearing them like this. So Revelo, if you're listening, maybe offer a shorter version as well. The prices start at $189 during this early bird phase and will go up to $279 for the most expensive version at full retail. If you like any of these, make sure to check out their website as some of the colorways are already sold out, like I said at the beginning. Thank you for watching, I hope you enjoyed and found it useful. If you did, please like and subscribe and until the next video, bye.